Hi, YouTube. Welcome to my office. I thought since I'm here early, uh, let's before I go to meet uh, my client and see the job site, uh, let's show you a tour of the office. So this is my desk. Um, I have a beautiful uh, glass table from BDI. This table is very special because it goes up and down and I love it. Sometimes I do like to stand uh, while I'm working. I don't like to sit down for a long time. It's a very good desk. I also have a drawer that you can fit a lot of things and I put my essentials here. Uh, it is a great desk in general. However, it has a metal a base and it does not have cover. Um, so in order to cover the things and make it a little bit more uh, pretty, uh, what I did, I built this surrounding uh, with laminate. I have shelves inside for storage. In general, I made this choice because it was more cost efficient for me. This office really um, I have because I didn't want to, I had another office and I have another showroom, but however, I wanted a space for myself. I really needed this, that space to be able to focus on my design and focus on the team and just be a little bit more quiet. Like I, I needed that uh, privacy and quiet time and focus time when I'm doing my drawing and I'm doing my designs. This space is just so zen. So anyway, long story short, I have two screens, uh, computer screens, um, because usually I work in different programs. So, so um, different programs is it, running all at the same time. I'm gonna talk about my chair as well, actually. This chair is amazing, like it's an ergonomic chair. It's not very, I would say, like a fancy, luxury looking chair. It's more like ergonomic. Everything moves, everything goes up and down, um, and like the curves on the body, the curves at the back, it adjusts it with uh, your body and it's so comfortable. Then on my back, basically what I did, I made a, I wanted an art wall with my project. So I have featured the project that I did uh, over the past few months over here. And of course, as a time passed by, I'll change the pictures. Then we're gonna move back over here. And while I'm going, I'm gonna talk about the floor actually. Because I leased this space, I have definitely limitation. So the flooring, what I've done, it's a laminate. And it was a carpet before underneath. What we did, we covered it with this laminate. The way that I have this laminate on, it's staggered, but it's not like, it's, it's almost like a random uh, pieces and it looks more like a wood flooring to me. So I really wanted that clean wipe. So I went with a very light laminate that has a touch of gray, a touch of white. There used to be a wall here that would cover that beautiful view. And I did not like that. I, as soon as you walked in, you feel that you're in a cave. It felt old, it felt dark. So I opened it all the way and I have sliding glass doors and I made this part to be my meeting room. So in, in this area, we meet with a team. We also meet with clients. Uh, sometimes I meet with contractors. I meet with uh, reps from different industries. The doors literally slide in, closed. It definitely cancels the noise. Um, at the same time, it does feel open. It doesn't feel closed because you can see through. I really like that. I really wanted to keep the office as clean as possible. I hate mess and I don't like messy places, but I have stuff, so I needed to have storage for them. So everything that I have in this office, it has a place. So you see a TV and this TV is get connected to the computers, but if we are showing a project to a client, we can have it on TV and then do our presentation. This cabinet, I built it over here. I have shelves and I have all my catalog and brochures of the year and these changes all the time. So every year or anytime the new product come in, we update these and same over here. These are all lighting and 
The way that I do like to organize my samples, my actual samples, I keep a binder here with all the pictures of the product that I have. The actual sample, the actual sample of fabric, the actual sample of hardware, they're all stored in organized way in my showroom. And then I keep a binder of pictures of the stuff that I have. It's an Excel sheet and I made everything very organized. So I find the one that I like and then I either bring them here or I get, I take my client to the showroom. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the desk. I really want the table, uh, the meeting table, to be very modern and clean. Uh, this one has a matte glass on top and it literally doesn't scratch. I've done anything you can on it. I also um, chose this light. It's a handmade product, by the way. It has um, LED right in the middle, as well as the metal. Um, surrounding. It's quite unique. Uh, I can dim it um, if I want to, if I feel that it's bothering. I can dim all the light switches are on dim. At this side, I had this concrete exposed and basically it was part of the building and I really liked it. It's kind of to me it was adding a character to the space. I just thought it's cool to keep a natural element in the room. So I kept it. I really like to keep things uh, and elements in the room exposed if it's possible. I always loved aquarium and I feel, um, I don't know, the life under the water, it's so calm and relaxed and I needed that with my hectic business life. So I always wanted an aquarium and I did not want uh, to have freshwater aquarium for some reason. I just love the saltwater aquarium. So uh, we came up with this. It's a saltwater aquarium. It still has a long way to go because apparently they take years and years for everything to grow in there and it's, it's a pro quite a process. It's very calming. It helps like we, whenever we tired, we just come and look at fishes. Our clients love it even. Like sometimes they come here and we have a meeting and hours and hours we talk about fishes. As you can see, the color theme in general, uh, it was like gray and white and clean. Uh, and even like having the concrete exposed helped with that theme a lot. It just, I, I wanted to keep it as clean as possible for, uh, for my job. So for the working area, um, we have these table and also the actual printer in the middle. Uh, we also have shredder, so stuff that needs for the office work. Uh, I needed a feature wall for this room. I felt like it's without the feature wall is empty. So I made this to be my feature and I have a wallpaper that really mimicking that stone look. It, it is quite cool. And even you touch it, it has a beautiful texture. Uh, then I made this a logo, which is our, our logo. And then I have it right there with the dark background. And I think it pops, it showcases the company logo, uh, it showcases what we are, and also it goes with a the theme. Also, the placement of the light for this space has been done to be more functional for people when they're working. So we have lighting on top of each desk and they are directional. I was on really on a budget and when I went in to check for the lights, the lights that they're coming in couple, I really like them, the recess light. However, I remember at that time when I was going to order, they were quite pricey. So I came up with the idea. What I did is having two square single recess light and I have them side by side to mimic that look. So I think it works beautifully. The ceiling here, it used to be coffered ceiling and it's very classical look. I did not want that look for the office and they wouldn't let me to remove things. Like it's definitely when you're leasing the space, you have limitation. So we drive all the whole thing and uh, we added the recess light on top of that. Storage floor to ceiling is always a good idea. However, in this case, I couldn't go all the way to the ceiling because of the air conditioning uh, that is right behind here and I couldn't cover it. I, I had to go a little bit lower. However, I made this cabinet and I have everything that we need inside. So we have fridge uh, full of beverages all the time. I love eating, so I always make this full. Uh, coffee machine, cups, 
uh, snacks, everything goes here. Then, uh, of course, office without big printer doesn't work. Like, you designers, like, you always need printers and a bunch of printers. So I have this one, which is my big printer. This one prints 36 by 24. Uh, it's a large, basically, format of paper. It also prints smaller ones. Everything for the office is organized here. So if you are reaching for paper, scissors, or anything, uh, it's going to be right here. And then we have our cleaning supplies uh, over in boxes. I didn't want them to be visible, uh, so I have them covered. We have uh, the rollers for the printers and a bunch of um, little things. Now, in the last one, what we have is storage for our coats, our purses for the team over here, as well as camera equipment and garbage bin. Everything is all here organized. And here I can hang my client's coat so they don't take it to the meeting room. So this is where you walk into the office. And right here, we had a little bit of spot. So in this area, uh, I had this empty spot that I could take an advantage of. So I made a millwork. The height of this millwork is same as the other one. So they all, like when you look from the meeting room, it all look very even. Uh, here I keep the books that I, I check them all the time. So I have them here for myself and for everybody else. As well as uh, I use these little cubes. Usually we do this when we want to hold like design wine cellar almost. So I made these cubes for my drying. It holds everything very nicely and very separately. Everything can be marked. We change them when the project changes and we get a new project, the old one, we toss them out. Uh, and then we put a new one there. So this was the overall, how the office looks like. Um, now I'm just heading down to the job site. I really need to go. So if you wanna come with me, I can show you a little bit of what's happening in the job site as well. outside Vancouver is something like you know I love sunny days and when it's sunny it's very cold but I love sunny days so I'm having this townhouse I'm redoing renovating the whole house it's important to visit at least like Every few days I go for a visit to just make sure that everything running smoothly, if there's any changes that I need to do. Because when you do renovation, it's very different than building a new house. When, when we do design new houses, everything is from scratch. It's, I wouldn't say it's so easy, but it's easier uh, to design. And unexpected things usually won't happen because you, you think about everything right from the beginning. But then this, when you do renovation, um, a lot of things can happen that you did not expect it. Like for example, you can open a wall and there is a pipe there that you cannot move. Different situation that you just need to address yourself as it goes. And then you just need to make sure that all those changes uh, meet what you want it to to do from the beginning. So it's quite a process, but it's very good to be hands-on and to check the projects all the time. Hello guys. bathroom I had a different layout for it and based on the budget I had to change my layout uh, however there is a chance that they make this bathroom to have glass door like glass basically opening uh, we're not sure yet I'm thinking to have a glass door or like glass basically wall for this bathroom however there are a couple of things that the client need to feel comfortable with. Of course, the door will have a lock and all that. However, it's kind of a privacy thing. If you're sensitive to light, and if you're in the room with your partner and you have the bathroom light turned on, um, 
at night, that might be an issue. Like things that they'll need to think about if they kind of poop this area. But I really love, I don't know, this is personal, but I really love the feeling of, oh, be able to see nature and be able to see outside and connect to outside as much as possible. I really like that view. If I'd be able to get a shower and be able to see that view, I would like that. I think this video will be too long if I continue and take you with me. So I just want to say bye and have a good day and I'll see you next time.